There is nothing more fun than cooking with summer's bounty. All of the fruits and vegetables and herbs are so abundant and so fresh. It's also so hot and I don't feel like doing a lot of cooking in this weather. So I thought it would be fun to put together a meal using all of this fresh food and minimal cooking. It's going to be quick, it's gonna be easy, and it's gonna be delicious. So let's get started. So let's start with a cocktail. I thought it would be fun today to make something called a Negroni Spritz. We're gonna start with some blood oranges. So we want one cup of fresh blood orange juice. Now we can add the alcohol. We want half a cup of Campari. half a cup of gin, then we want half a cup of sweet vermouth, and then finally to lighten this up a bit, we're going to do one and a half cups of club soda. Now we'll give that a good stir, then we'll want to garnish that with a piece of orange. Not a lot of ingredients, super easy to make and so delicious for summer, the Negroni Spritz. So the next thing we're gonna make is a nice, fresh, easy appetizer with kind of an old fashioned dip. This is a dill dip. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some fresh dill. We don't want the stems, we just want the leaves. And we're gonna coarsely chop that. We need about one cup. We'll go ahead and put this into the bowl of our food processor. And to that, we're gonna add two scallions that we're gonna chop up. I'm gonna cut off the ends. Okay, so there's our two scallions. So then we're gonna need two nice sized garlic cloves. I'm gonna throw that in there. Then I'm gonna take one 17 ounce container of plain yogurt. This is Faye and I really like this yogurt. And then we need about a third of a cup of mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna take the zest of one lemon and then I'm gonna squeeze it. I need about three tablespoons of lemon juice, but I wanna juice it into a container so I can measure it. And then we're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then one tablespoon of champagne vinegar. So now we're just gonna pulse this up in the food processor until it's all blended. Then we'll put it in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it set up. So the next thing that we're gonna do is start on our balsamic steak and peach salad. I wanna marinate this flank steak for about 20 minutes at room temperature. I've put a quarter of a cup of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of dark brown sugar, and one minced garlic clove into this resealable bag. And then I'm just gonna take my flank steak and I'm gonna put it into the bag with the marinade. And then I'm just gonna let it sit and then we'll go on to our next dish. So next on our menu is a spicy cucumber and corn gazpacho. So the first thing we're gonna do is try and pull some of the moisture out of these cucumbers. Then I'm just gonna chop these up and put them in a bowl. To these cucumbers, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit to distribute the salt. Next on our list of ingredients are two tomatillos. And you wanna rinse them off. They just look like little green tomatoes. So I'm going to cut them up. I'm gonna cut the core out. So I'm just gonna cut these up. I'm gonna add them to my cucumbers. Give them a quick stir. So the next thing we're gonna do is chop up a jalapeno pepper. I wanna take out the, the seeds and the, the veins. And the next thing I want is about a half of a cup of chopped onion. This is all gonna go in the blender, so it doesn't have to be a perfect chop. So I've shucked my fresh corn, um, and I find that the easiest way to cut it off the cob is to put a clean kitchen towel down on the board. And what's nice about this method is that once you finish cutting it off the um, cob, you can just kind of pull this up like this. See how easy that is? And then you don't have to worry about it flying all over your kitchen. Okay, so this could not be easier. 
What I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by blending up my cucumbers and tomatillos in the blender. This is probably gonna take about a minute, but I'm gonna put this onto um, puree and try and get these vegetables really nicely chopped up. To this, I am going to add one and a half cups of the corn. I've got a clove of garlic. I've got my onion, my jalapeno, and then I'm gonna add about half a cup of good quality olive oil. Blend that up. We're gonna add the juice of two limes. I'm just gonna juice them right into the blender. And then a handful of fresh basil. Okay, the last step is I'm gonna take my soup and I'm gonna put it through this sieve to get out any kind of big parts that might still be in there. So to serve this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spoon it into a bowl and then we're gonna garnish it with some of our fresh corn and a little bit of basil. Absolutely delicious. So now we're ready to work on our salad. Okay, so we're gonna take our steak that's been marinating and put that on the grill pan for about three minutes. While that's cooking, we might as well go ahead and work on the rest of our salad. We'll start with our dressing. We're gonna use a quarter of a cup of good olive oil, the juice of one lemon, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And that'll be our vinaigrette. How easy is that? Turn this steak. Cook it for another three minutes on this side. While that meat finishes cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up two ripe peaches. Okay, we'll take that meat off of the heat and let it rest for just a minute. So while our meat is resting, we're gonna go ahead and build our salad. So I've got some fresh arugula. We've got these wonderful fresh peaches. So now I've got a nice block of gorgonzola. I want to kind of roughly cut that and then crumble it over my salad. Okay, let's see how this steak looks. I'm just going to add our steak to our salad. And then to finish this off, we're just going to um, whisk up a little bit of this dressing and pour it on top and then you want to serve it immediately. For dessert, I thought we should take advantage of the beautiful berries at this time of the year. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a liqueur syrup to coat those berries in and then we'll have them over vanilla ice cream. So to start, I'm gonna take a half a cup of water and one and a quarter cups of sugar. And I'm gonna put that over medium low heat and I'm gonna cook this until the sugar dissolves. This is gonna take about five to eight minutes. Okay, so our sugar has dissolved. To this, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of frangelico. <laughs> then I'm gonna put it back into the measuring cup and put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes. Once we're ready for dinner, I'm gonna pour that over the berries and we're gonna have that with ice cream. So how easy was that? This beautiful meal with, an, with drinks, an appetizer, a soup, a salad, and dessert, whipped up in no time hardly any cooking. The only thing that really required cooking was the meat um, and a little bit on the syrup. And we have just the most divine dinner. I hope you try some of these recipes. If you do, please let me know how you like them and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like this, please remember to like and, um, and if you press the bell, you'll get a message every time I have a new video.